Welcome to Mauritania, a hidden gem in Northwest Africa, where Islam is the heartbeat of over 99% of its population, yet it holds no official state religion. In this journey with Opentiera, we'll explore the stunning landscapes, rich history and vibrant culture of a country where the Sahara meets the sea. Dive into the essence of Mauritania with us and discover the stories that make this nation truly unique. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss what's next. Mauritania is located in Northwest Africa. It borders the North Atlantic Ocean to the west, Western Sahara to the north, Algeria to the northeast, Mali to the east and southeast, and Senegal to the southwest. With an area of 1,030,700 square kilometers, Mauritania is the 29th largest country in Africa. The capital and largest city is Nouakchott, located on the Atlantic coast. Mauritania can be divided into three main geographic zones based on topography. In the west, Mauritania has approximately 700 kilometers of coastline along the Atlantic Ocean. Moving inland, the terrain transitions to the semi-arid Sahelian steppe and savanna region. In the north and east, the Adrar and Tagant plateaus rise from the Sahelian plains, with the highest peak at Kediet Ejil at 950 meters. The interior contains sandy plains, dried lake beds, and dune seas known as ergs. The Sahara Desert covers over half of the country. Mauritania has a hot desert climate while the coastal region is humid and tropical. Maximum temperatures exceed 38 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit in summer. Inland areas have extreme variation in daily temperature and winter nights can drop below freezing. The rainy season is short from July to September and annual rainfall averages less than 150 millimeters in most of the country. Droughts are frequent. Mauritania is home to a diverse mix of ethnic groups, languages and religions. Its population is around 4.7 million, according to World Bank data. The two main ethnic groups in Mauritania are the Moors and Black Africans. The Moors consist of Arab and Berber peoples who migrated to Mauritania between the 3rd and 13th centuries. They live predominantly in the north and northeast. Black Africans originate from sub-Saharan ethnic groups, mainly the Fula, Wolof, Soninka and Bambara peoples. They live mainly in the south and along the Senegal River Valley. Overall, the Moors make up around two-thirds of the population, while black Africans account for around one-third. Intermarriage between Moors and black Africans has blurred ethnic lines over the centuries. Islam is the dominant religion, practiced by over 99% of the population. Most Mauritanians are Sunni Muslims following the Maliki school of jurisprudence. A small minority adhere to Sufi orders. Christianity exists in pockets, mainly among the black African ethnic groups. There are very small numbers of atheists and followers of traditional African religions. The official language is Arabic and Hassaniya Arabic serves as the national language. However, French is also commonly used in business and government. There are also several African languages spoken, including Fula, Soninka, and Wolof. Unique to Mauritania is the Pula dialect of Fula, spoken by the Tukulur people. Mauritania's food offers a delicious blend of flavors from Arab, Berber, and West African cultures. Due to the arid climate, Mauritanian cooking primarily uses fish, meat, rice, millet, vegetables, and dairy products. These are some iconic Mauritanian dishes. Tia Boudien is considered the national dish of Mauritania. This meal consists of fish, rice, vegetables, and tomato sauce. It often features grouper, carrots, cabbage, cassava, and beans. Spices like thyme, 
chili pepper, garlic and baobab leaves add distinctive flavors. Tiboutien is usually served for lunch and can be cooked with beef or mutton instead of fish. Yasa poulet is a popular chicken dish seasoned with lemon and onions. Boneless chicken pieces are marinated in lemon juice, garlic, mustard and spices. The chicken is then sautéed with onions, parsley, olives and lemon. Yasa poulet has a tangy and savoury taste. It is often served over plain rice. Mafa is a simple yet nourishing goat meat stew. Chunks of meat are cooked with onions, tomatoes, spices and peanut butter or fermented milk. Potatoes, carrots, peppers and greens are also added. Peanuts and couscous are common side dishes. Mafi is a favorite festive meal. The first inhabitants of Mauritania were Berber peoples who migrated into the region between 6000 to 2000 BCE. Berber kingdoms like Ghana, Mali and Songhai eventually dominated trans-Saharan trade in Mauritania. In the 11th century, Almoravid Berbers established an empire encompassing much of northwest Africa and parts of Spain. The influx of Arab nomads introduced Islam during this time period. European powers vied for control of coastal Mauritania in the 15th to 19th centuries. In the early 1900s, France gradually colonized the interior, meeting fierce resistance from the Moors. Mauritania was incorporated into French West Africa in 1920 as a protectorate. The area remained under French colonial rule until 1960. Mauritania gained independence from France on November 28, 1960. Mokhtar ul Dada was the first president, establishing a one-party state. His authoritarian rule ended in 1978 when he was deposed in a coup by Mustafa ul Salik. A series of military juntas followed over the next decade. Democratic reforms in 1991 led to Mauritania's first multi-party elections in 1992. However, instability continued throughout the 1990s with several coups and regime changes. General Mohamed Uld Abdel Aziz seized power in a 2008 coup and resigned from the military to run for president in 2009. He was elected and re-elected in 2014 in a vote boycotted by opposition parties. In 2019, Mohamed Uld Ghazouani was elected president, representing the continuity of the previous regime. While nominally a democracy, Mauritania remains plagued by authoritarian rule, military influence and human rights abuses. Ethnic tensions and poverty are ongoing challenges. However, the country is now broadly stable after decades of political upheaval. Mauritania is one of the poorest countries in the world, with much of the population dependent on agriculture and livestock for income. As of 2022, its GDP is roughly $9.7 billion, according to World Bank data. Mauritania's main industries are mining, fisheries, livestock, and agriculture. Mining, predominantly of iron ore, accounts for around 40% of total exports. Coastal waters provide one of the richest fishing areas in the world with fish products making up another 50% of exports. Goats, sheep and cattle grazing on the vast rangelands account for around a third of the rural economy. Despite its natural resources, Mauritania faces major economic challenges. Poverty is widespread, with over 40% living below the poverty line. Droughts, desertification, overfishing and volatile commodities prices disrupt economic progress. Weak rule of law deters foreign investment. Mauritania heavily depends on foreign aid and imports for food, manufactured goods and petroleum. Mauritania has untapped potential in minerals, offshore oil deposits, renewable energy, transportation infrastructure and tourism. With sound policies and governance, 
sustainable growth in mining, agriculture, fisheries and other sectors could reduce unemployment and poverty. Regional integration and trade partnerships could also boost economic opportunities for Mauritania's people and businesses. If you enjoyed this video on Mauritania, you'll love this next one.